don't even know where I'm going to start with this video. I suppose this is going to be like a life update video. Um, I've basically been dreading sitting down to do this video. Just because like, I don't even want to be talking about it. It's not, a, it's not a topic that I want to talk about. Yeah, I don't know. Basically, I, I just feel like it's... I, like, I've been stuck in a rut lately, basically. At the end of the month... At the end of the month, I... I lost one of my brothers. My brother, Darren, passed away on the 28th of January. And I was like, what? I was like, that can't be true. Like, how can that happen? Because, like, you never think it's going to be close to home. Like, you never think it's going to be someone in your family that something happens to. And there, and, like, it's your family member that's taken. But anyway, um, obviously, I'm not going to go into details because I don't need to say that. I don't know what this video is. Like, what is this video? Is there really what you make in this video? I don't know. I just feel weird, basically. Because so much stuff has been happening in my personal life that that I haven't even had a second. Because like, you can't even get your thoughts straight. Like, how? Like, everything just feels so much smaller now. It's like, what's the point in worrying about editing a video? when like one of your family members is just gone like how can you even wrap your head around that it's like what's the point what like what's the point of making videos what's the point of editing them what's the point of uploading them like it just makes everything just sound just feel like so much stupid like what like it still even feels weird saying it out loud like my my brother darren died like it doesn't feel like he's gone because even like when we seen him, it just looked like he was sleeping, which I suppose is the best way to see them for the last time. Like I literally just seen him at Christmas. Like how can things change so drastically in the space of like two, three weeks? Like that's scary. That's actually terrifying that things can change that quick. Like what the hell? It just makes you take everything, like all the things I've been taking for granted. My health, the fact that you wake up in the morning, the fact that I have legs and I can walk, I have hands and I can pick up things and type and edit my videos. Ugh, it just sucks. It absolutely sucks. It's so unfair. So unfair. Like, what's the reason for this to happen? They say everything happens for a reason. What could possibly be a good enough reason for this to happen? So messed up. Like, what? Like, what? Why are we all just put here? And all the governments want, all the government wants to do, send us to school, we go to school. Then we get out of school, we work. Then they want us to work until we're like in our 60s. And then we can retire. But the retirement aid went up from 65 to I think now it's 67. And I think they want to raise it to 69. Which is an absolute joke. Because the government people can retire when they're 50. And get a big fat pension with a big fat paycheck. And they can live happily ever after. But us peasants as they see it. Or like lower class. Whatever the hell they think of us. They just treat us like shit. We have to work until we're like 69, basically 70 now. And then if we're lucky enough to get to that far, then we just get a shitty little pension. That's probably just the same as being on the dole. So it's probably only like 200 a week. Who the fuck can live off 200 euro a week? Do you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see the government live off 200 a week. They wouldn't know what the hell to be doing with themselves. Do you know what? They'd just be walking around the room, bumping into things, not knowing what to do. They'd be walking around like headless chickens absolute joke that's what the, the whole like life system is sometimes 
just an absolute joke. Like when you think about it, money, that's a man-made thing. The earth didn't make money. So money didn't even exist. Money is a man-made thing. So that's fucked up when you think about it that way. Like, I, like everybody is just money hungry. Between the meat company is like paying off people to say this. And like, I feel like everybody is just linked. And when you step back, it's like, what is the point? What is it? Like someone tell me, what? What is the point? Like, there's no point. I'm just gonna get stressed. I'm just gonna get upset that I don't have money. Stressed because I don't have money. The economy has gone so arseways. I can't even move out now if I want to do because rent is fucking so expensive that I can't even afford rent. So I literally can't afford to move out of my parents' house. And I'm 25. Actually, all my older brothers and sisters, when they were like in their early 20s, they could all move out of their family home. No bother. And that was in Dublin. But anyway, when the hell did this video turn into a rant about everything? I suppose it's just basically what's been on my mind lately because I've just been so stressed and thinking like, what is the point? Like, I can't wrap my head around it. Like, what is the point? You just don't want to do anything. Like, like I don't want to be stressed about money. I don't want to be sad all the time. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in this stupid rat race that life is then to just one day not be here. Like, that's so unfair. That's why I just kind of can't wrap my head around at all. And then the family is left with all having to do everything for like the funeral and ordering the food after the funeral and who has to do the readings at the funeral. What flowers are getting at the funeral. They have to talk to the priest about the funeral, ring the funeral directors, call the hospital, call. Like, you have enough to be dealing with, then have to, like, you don't even have time to grieve. So messed up. So messed up. It's so unfair. Like, what is the actual? I don't get it. I just really don't like what's the point in stressing and everything? Like I oh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to start crying. Yeah, so that has been, so that has been, so this has been my situation lately, um, it sucks. And I, I can't change it. And all I can do is be there for my family and be there for myself. I think that's it. Basically, I don't know. Oh, oh. God, life just like really just sucks sometimes, doesn't it? Like life is too short. 
life is literally too short. And I know I believed it before, but until you lose someone that's really close to you, it just, it's like it just comes up and smacks you right in the face. And you're like, that is how short life is. Like life is that short. Okay, I'm done crying. I'm over, I'm over this video and I just don't want to be sad anymore because Darren wouldn't want me to be sitting here in front of a camera crying to all of you guys. If Darren was here, he'd grab me by the arms, probably force me to start Irish dancing with him. <laughs> and he'd be like, la 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 la. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to you, Darren. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for being one of the best brothers ever. I'm so happy that you're in my life. Such a heart of gold would always make other people laugh no matter what he would do absolutely anything for you heart of gold i swear to god i love him to bits always have always will and at least i got a new guardian angel at the end of it so at least now i have him i have him like having my back so he'll look over me from now on which i'm happy about so <laughs> that's nice to know yeah, so without getting upset again, that's basically all the shit I've been going through right now. So please bear bear with me. So yeah, please bear with me in the next few vlogs or whenever if I just like burst into tears or I'm in a bad mood. Give me a break for a little while until I feel back on my feet or whatever. Oh, I'm gonna get upset again. I'm not gonna get upset again though, because I'm like I like I'm not gonna like sit here and cry on the front. Yeah, like Although I do feel better, so if you feel like you want to cry, cry. Let it out. Have your five or ten minutes and then dust yourself off. And I actually feel better now. I feel a bit more refreshed. So I'm going to be productive because that helps me. It helps me not think about things. I know it's so hard in these situations, but so I'm not going to sit here and preach and be like, be positive, be productive. No, like, if you want to stay in your pajamas all day and be unproductive and do absolutely nothing, you do that. I'm on your side, you do that. And now I'm drinking a water out of my cultured bottle that I got from Penny's that has um, a vitamin C effervescent tablet. And then a multivitamin effervescent dissolvable tablet thing. So that's what I'm drinking. Mmm. Vitamins. <laughs> I feel so much better after making this video. Pat on the back for me. Well done. Well done, Leanne. Like, I just need to start giving myself a break. Like, life doesn't have a rule book. Just go at your own pace. What is the rush? I ain't stressing no more. I'm not stressing about anything. I'm not letting stupid little things upset me. Unless I can do something in the moment, if you can change something about it, you can stress over how to change it and then change it, and then you're out of the predicament. But if you're in the predicament and there's nothing you can do to change it, then there is absolutely no reason to stress over it. There's no point being angry. There's no point being sad about it. Because like what is that that's not helping anybody that's not helping you like no my mom and dad are back now so basically yeah if you can change it well then go change it if you can't don't stress you don't deserve to stress you deserve better than that so anyway thank you for listening to this little rant mom and dad are coming in now so i have to stop comment down below if you have any tips for life <laughs> and thanks for listening i'll see you in the next one Bye.